I've been tracing my origin because mm -hmm. my, the first question is, who am I? Yes. Yeah. If you don't know who you are, then you have no direction in life. Like, I am a man, but somebody will try to convince me that, oh, you are supposed to be a lady. So I have to know who I am. That's what makes me safe. Right. Child born of Gen Z parents yeah. will probably not understand why it's important to have all this. That is why we have said that you must know who you are. Otherwise, if you don't know who you are, people will tell you who you are. I can give you an example. Yes. Let, me, let me give you a simple example. I had, I, had, I had an old man and a young man with a donkey. So they had this donkey, they were walking along. And then they met a group of people. And the group of people said, how stupid you are. Why don't you get that young man to sit on the donkey? So that he does not stretch because the, way, the journey is far. So the young man jumped in on the donkey. And they went along and along and they met another crowd. And that crowd was wondering why a young man who is healthy is on the donkey. And the old, old man is walking. So the young man jumped down and then the other... The, the, the old man went on the donkey and then they met another crowd who said, you are old and you are torturing this young man. Why don't the young man go to the donkey and you, you walk? Then they got confused and said that they all jumped on the donkey now because they didn't know what to do. Now, then when they went along, along, along and they found another crowd and this crowd was like, how can two healthy people descend on a poor donkey? So they all got out of the donkey. And then all, the next crowd met them. They were both carrying the donkey. All right? So that is what we call the loss of culture. The moment you lose your identity and your culture, you become a slave. Mm -hmm. You don't know where your home is. And then you depend on other people. The, the other cultures will assimilate you. And then you will be annihilated as a community, even as a nation. So that is what the current people would think that they know that they don't know, that they should stay and promote their culture because that defines who they are. Yeah, but uh, do you think or uh, do you believe or what is your view on the thought that the world is now having a universal culture? We are sort of trying to develop a culture that can fit all of us. There is nothing like a universal culture. All cultures are already established. It is, the only thing that can work now is losing your culture. Don't talk to me building a new culture. Tell me that we are working on a situation to lose our culture. That one I will understand. Okay? That's it. We are losing our culture to a common culture which is not a culture. Let me give you an example. Yes. English has turned into Shen. Kiswahili has turned into Shen. They have created a new language. That's not a culture. That is a, 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 a result of a loss of language, loss of original language. So if you say, if you, I think you should just ask me that, okay, now that the world is moving towards losing their culture, what do you think? Then I, my answer is they should not lose their culture. Because if they lose their culture, then they are lost people. I understand <laughs> okay, we are losing our culture. Yeah, definitely. Def I was talking to you earlier and we discussed about how parents treated their children who were born in the 80s and the 70s. Yeah. Don't you think there's a difference? <laughs> yes, there is. There is a difference. So, so because now the, 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 the parents of old were very strict with their children. Mm -hmm. But now the, 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 the mothers call their children daddy and, and the father also called them daddy. And the daddy is still in the house. How many daddies do we have in the same house? So those are the laws of culture that we have. So we are losing the culture. We are not building a world. There's nothing like a, a world culture. Now, we have to eliminate this mystery. I have traveled a little. I have mixed with mainly in the United States. I've been a professor in the United States. Right now, I'm involved, I'm a consultant in the United States in the pharmaceutical industry. Now, they are neat. They are well neat in their foundation. Some people came from Europe. They kept their traditional way of food, their dance, their music. Yes. So when you are going to a pub, you are going to Irish pub, or you are going to, to a Russian pub, they maintained it. But they are still the United States of America. 
they are still united, but they keep their own culture. But meet my friend Aluo in the center of London. You can speak the Luo and he assumes like he is not here in even hearing. Yeah? That is what we call the loss of culture. And I don't want the Luos to lose their culture in the name of global culture. There's nothing like global culture. His name is Pascal Odiambo. He was the youngest Nyatiti player. It is a lot. <laughs> And this is him now because of love for culture, young talent, Professor Dr. Apio Omole Marcels decided to bring him to his home and train him through schools as well as promoting his talent. His mission is to promote the African culture so that we do not lose our culture to other prominent culture and we become a slave to them. <laughs> Pascal Udiambu, Ajan Lego Gang, and Wodo Bwanda, Manen Janya Titi. Oh, Kuri Nja Lego Kutu Yom. Kanja Wodo Nja Lego. Oh, okay. Because Kuri Nja Lego Kutu Yom, I don't care ka itu do nya titi. So, in Kijana Matena Henya. I binya bedo nja ignye di ka kokiri yambo. Aja 20 years. 20 only. So, it will go to Titi. Titi, my long one, my long one, my long one, Gara. Gara. Or Mago, a no beginner Titi, a no beginner Titi. Okay. So, Gini Nichako to give us only Babo Nego Natiti. On your little Babo Gonatiti. On your little Babo Gonatiti. Mamane, Pum Mineno Kigoy. So, and this is the original Natiti that his father played over 30 years ago. What Professor Dr. Apio Omole is trying to do is to intermarry all the Luo traditional musical instruments to, to form one musical band. Kasani, you did all you wait and you go your angla, go bongo, to you so, to you would go. In a momio, in your titica, you do. When your titica, a titina capo, a regiton, caca, no new one at all, Baba and also, no way a capo that he, or your titina is my name, Tia Tia or time, or such a Mokanan one or time to a guel mate than one or more. music festivals a boy, Nakatiko class of Guru. Proba, Yako class eight, or a joint school, Mori, Bolimwe High School, and East Yaya County. Pro 
in form 1 na adia drop school na we then koro atako manyu wa kandi koro ka hanyo ema nitie wodu yo ma moro do ko ni masetu mole na umanya and then do ka school koro emo mi obisani ani form 2 koro ni atu chito koda go yo ago ye music festival school i go a music festival to school yeah okay niro kamana uh hmm ipani pogruok mane maduong manyalo bedo e kind thum machon mar nyatiti to gi masani obedo angla obed rumba obed benga kata mana bongo migoyo ni pogruok mane mantie in terms of kopogore gi kaka igoye melody mawuoke in terms of message mane igoyo chon inayudo kiwero nyalo wero wende jodongo machon to yudo ka sani iwer mopogore pani pogruok no pogruok no ntie nikech jo nyatiti machon gin ka ni winjo wende ji to gin jok mane wero gima otimore gima yani gibo otimore kuom kod ngato then pro dio lo so ni wer kuom gima timore chalo kaka miti gemi pro jo tumbo wa masani kaka jo handle gi gin to tinde ni wero mana nyiri nitie penjo ma daher penji upokore ne wan ka gi ngat ma Uganda donge to obiro Kenya mondo mi wacho ni winter mariculture in kaka ngano maja 20 years ipani e 20 years mabiro culture mar nyatiti orutu gotabundo uh, angla nyachon mipango cha dichopo kanye kenya ka niko kakora to ando aero traditional mm. ro aparo ne nike ba obolo se wase no angregi wodu yo mabilu ko ni masens angeno bo beta beta sawa Oyinenuka future ni bubedo. Sa sa weki ko mangen to nya titini. Ilose. Inge lose ni. Ko so igoya boy. Agoya goya. Ni mna timo tuni nkumi. And then lose ka ko lose ni to daka lose. Mana ko nya kimia we ko mna. Okay. Sa sa. Pani wadi wagi kanyu ko sunti wach moro madiero wach magi. Ah. Ngonge wach ero kamano. Ai. So what is your name? I'm called Isabel Awali. Who? Oh. Isabel Awali. Isabel. Yes. Awali. Yes. From Uganda. From Uganda. Mm -hmm. Where are in Uganda? Where? Mayuge. Mayuge Uganda. Mayuge district. Mayuge district. Yes. Okay. So what? Uh, which instrument is that you're playing? This instrument is called adungu. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is played in which culture in Uganda? In culture, we played in so many cultures, mm. but especially low culture. Low. Low. Okay. Yes. It is in northern Uganda. Mm. Yes. Okay. So this adungu that you're playing here in Kenya today. Yes. Why did it bring you to Kenya? Because they 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 are tribes in Kenya mm. called low Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes. And why this one? Do they do, because low in Kenya do not have this one? Do not have, but I'm rep I'm, I am representing those law from Uganda. <laughs> okay, and so I wanted those people, law people from Kenya also to see. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Your mm. your 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 shirt has a name, cultural Shekers Cultural Group. Yes. Yes. So tell us about your cultural group. Ah, uh, this is Shekers Cultural Group. Mm -hmm. It means things concerning culture. Mm -hmm. So. There is even a title which says "Ebiye no no biabu so ganambetia ndala." It means that cultural things or long ago culture should be number one as as to fall. Mm -hmm. Yes. So why why you as a young person now hmm? Hmm. you decide to play culture song and hmm. not modern song? Aha. Uh -huh. This culture thing, this culture 
music. She was always good. It teach people. It, you can get more about those days long ago. So this cultural music eh, mm. helps us to know what was behind when we are not born. But in terms of earning money from culture songs, yes. do you get money from culture song? Or yes. is it modern song that has more money? A, a culture one. Mm. Culture one, you get money more because it is expensive. Tourists are coming from abroad to get those culture things. Okay. Thank you. So you are in Kenya today. Yes, I'm what are you doing in Kenya today? I am I am teaching the raw tribe. Mm. This are doing from raw people in Uganda. So I'm teaching them. So do you also teach those in Uganda how to play cultural instruments? Yes. Which which other instruments can you play? I play oruku. Oh? Oruku. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? So in, in law there in Uganda we call it aligirigi. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one. Aligirigi. That is all to play for us more. Okay. That is Orutu yes. here in Kenya. In and Kenya. in Uganda? In Ingidi. In Ingidi. In Ingidi. In Ingidi. Yes. In Lusoga. In Lusoga, in Ingidi. Mm -hmm. In Lungu Luo tribe. Mm. Aligirigi. Aligirigi? Yes. Wow. Mm. Okay. Uh, apart from Aligirigi yes. and. Uh, on, 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 on. Adung. 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 Which other one do you play? I also play this. Mm -hmm. That one there. Called it Endere. Mm -hmm. Endere. Endere in Busoga. Yes, in Busoga. Mm -hmm. So in because Luo. it was founded in Busoga, called mm -hmm. it Endere. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the Luo in Uganda call it what? Where is it Pina? In the Luo. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, I don't know for sure. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and Orutu, do you play Orutu also? Or Nyatiti? In Nyatiti, I have my profession one. Mm. Who can play Anyeti? So, I'm. Um, He's also teaching me Anyiti. Mm. Nyatiti. I'm, nyatiti, Nyatiti. <laughs> He's teaching me Nyatiti. I'm also teaching him Anungu. You okay. see that so combination? So basically today you're doing a cultural exchange. Yes. Anungu from Uganda yes. and Nyatiti from, from Kenya. Kenya. Yes. And you're exchanging the culture. Exactly. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Mm. Okay, I think uh, we'll uh, end it there. Mm. Thank you so much for your time. Mother, a pay. My father, a So I am a pay. 
So that you, you happens in Luos. Oh, the what? Luo name people like that. Luos name people. I named myself. I I don't wait for anybody to name me. But when you were born. You see, when you, when you are born and then you are named, you don't even have control of how they name you. So when you grow up, you have a choice to rename yourself. Okay. Yeah. So I said, okay, my father, what is your name? My mom told me this is for the food. My father told me this for the food. And they gave me another name. And then I said, oh, oh, I'm not going to use that name. Then they asked me why. I told them that one, you didn't go to school. They don't even know how to read. They didn't know how to write. And they were willing to sacrifice their life to make sure that I was both educated and learned with the scarce resources that they had. So I wanted their names to be reflected wherever I went. So I got their names, those are my official name, Apeo Umori. They are in publications, they are in books, they are everywhere. Apeo Umori. Those are my official names. Mm. So people ask me always where I go, oh, where do you come from, where do you come from? The answer is very simple. I came from my father through my mother. So they write, then I correct them that if they want to ask me what they're looking for, where were you born and raised? So I tell them, oh, I was born at the lectures of Lake Victoria mm. in a place called uh, Agok, which is a subset of Rarieda and sub a subset of Siaya uh, County, which is a subset of Kisumu City and then the entirely Kenya as a whole. So that's where I was born and raised. raised. But where I came from, obvious. From Your my mother. father <laughs> to my mother. That's it. So okay. you are Woodra Riena or you are Jara Riena? Yeah, and Jara Riena. In Jara Riena, talking Woodra Riena. Uh, and Woodra go. But you see, once you're born in a place, uh, you was, when you associate with it, you are right, and would Rarieta, and would Agu, and would Bondo, and would Stiaya, and would Kenya, you know, yeah. in that in that life. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So today, uh, we are here to talk about culture. Yes. And basically culture are intermarried in music. Yeah. What's your purpose in culture, in promoting culture? So first of all, we must identify when we talk of culture, mm -hmm. uh, we have to define it. So it is the way people do their things, the traditions. How do they eat? How do they sing? How they do, do they communicate? So that's why we have a language. So that language is intertwined in what? Culture. The foods you like, the foods you don't like is in the culture. The music that you play, the instruments that you use that are intertwined in the culture. The way you bury your dead or the way you mourn your dead. That is in the culture. culture. So I am interested in promoting the Luo culture because I am a Luo. So I was, mm -hmm. the first question is, who am I? Yes. Yeah. If you don't know who you are, then you have no direction in life. Like I am a man, but somebody will try to convince me that, oh, you are supposed to be a lady. So I have to know who I am. That's what makes me safe. All right? Yes. So I am a Luo from Kenya, mm -hmm. and I would like, I have been following the origin of the Luos, and what defines the Luos, one of them is music, yes. and that's why we are here today. So the main thing is to get, let it not get lost, because when we were colonized, we even got colonized in the mind, such that we had poverty of the mind where we imagine that everything foreign is good. And then we, we, we start discarding what was, what was the foundation of our culture. So my purpose is to preserve the Luo culture. And one way of preserving the Luo culture is to get the young people engaged in the way our ancestors did things in terms culturally, in terms of music, in terms of activities, in terms of relationship, in terms of respect, and in terms of response to authority. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is my goal. And in that regard, 
I am a patron of a cultural group called Kombunya Cultural Group. And their main uh, objectives is to synthesize the young people and to make sure that our culture continues in years to come. You see, you see, we would like even to have a culture where the, our, our girls know how to cook. Because I have seen young people come from the cities and then they follow YouTube how to cook a girl. That is crazy. Because by the time they are still watching the YouTube, all the water has evaporated from the pot. They have to pour new water into the pot. And when they come back, that's lost. And the appetite of the people who are waiting for the food is always, is already high. And the lady is still struggling with the YouTube without network. So it means if the network gets that get, disappears in the village, we, we sleep hungry. Because our daughter did not know how to cook, that means the lost is lost. It is not our, the foundations and the basics of our culture. So that is what I promote. Well, so in your attempt to promote this, what are some of the things that you're doing to, to promote the culture and instill some of these disciplines? So first of all, I look for talent. I look for talent in terms of those, those who are capable of culturally uh, mentoring the young people. So I support them in all ways that I can. Number two, I also look for talent in music. So different cultural music associated with the Lugos. So it is not only in Kenya. I do it in Uganda. I do it in Tanzania. I talk to some people in Ethiopia. Those who followed the Nile, the Lugos looking for fish. Although these days they don't get the fish, they sell them to the non Lugos and sleep hungry. So we are promoting that culture so that we know our best foods, how to produce them, how to use even sorghum. Because I, I go to a city, I find a Lugo girl or a Lugo man, and they are going out for pizza. And pizza is an Italian ugali. So why do you go for an Italian ugali when we have our ugali? So those are the things that we promote. So how do I do it? I, I organize cultural events. Number one, we eat the Lugo food. We sing the Lu music. We play the Lu instruments. And that is a way of promoting it. Number two, getting involved with high schools, okay? Yes. Uh, high schools who are interested in either playing or saying the poems or participating in the real activities that are culturally reflecting. All right? Yes. Yeah. So, where do I come from? It's already explained. My purpose is already explained. But now, are we, where are we going with this? Where we are going with this is that we would like to expand beyond our comfort zone so that we share our culture with other people in other continents. So that we don't, you don't just believe that anything originating from us is not good, that only foreign things are good. So I promote even cultural presentations out, outside the borders of our immediate neighbors and our own country. Okay. As uh, we are talking of uh, culture across borders, I can see that uh, next to you there's an instrument that is from Uganda, the one there on this side. Yes, they call it Adungu. The Adungu. Then we come on this other side and there's uh, Nyatiti. Nyatiti. So these instruments, I understand you're not a musician, but no, you, you uh, have a keen interest, and yeah, I've seen you play. Yeah, I have a very keen interest. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I, you know, you know, you 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 can learn. Learn learning stops when you are dead. Mm. Yeah. So you should always uh, strive to learn, because I went to school also. So when I'm talking to promoting the cultural event, yes. they will say, oh, this music are for old people. This music are those who didn't go to school. Mm. This music are for some drunkards in the village. That is not true. I also read a little. I went to school. Yes. I did some little. Things, okay? <laughs> so I went in, in the pursuit of that. Mm. I went to a small school in my village called a book primary school. Mm. Because some people, then I went to St. Mary's Yap mm. for my O-level. 
Some people come after all of they say they completed the school, that they have yeah. completed education. Yeah. So you have so you mean you have completed everything, nobody will be getting anything from that school. So I decided to go to school until I get a signpost called no, no schooling, schooling ahead. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I went to St. Mary's. After that, I went to Tika High for my high school. After that, I went for a teacher training in Moi Teachers College. I went, I taught in Chanda High School, maths, physics, and chemistry. Those were my subjects. Then I went to... After the training, I taught there. After that, I went back for my master's in Egerton. After that, I went to the United States for my PhD. So, but I still play. I find some lures, even in the US. So I know my origin. Yes. I know my immediate uncles. I know where my mom comes from. And I speak the Luo. So some people, when they get a little education, they, dis they, they disregard their, their language. Then they, they, they come with some English which they are just swallowing and we cannot hear them. So sometimes we decide to talk like loose because our, we have our origin, we have our culture. There are some people who don't even eat a lot. Bomb. They can't eat, they are looking for what? Donuts in the streets, in our cities. Mm -hmm. So we promote our culture in terms of food, farming, and all that kind of stuff. How do we promote it where we can financially? Where we can organization and synthesization of cultural events. Uh, where we can, if we find kids who cannot afford even to go to school but they have talent, we can chip in something to make sure that they promote talent through going to school and learning new cultures. Because now I'm speaking a cultural language. Why? Because I want to reach other cultures who cannot speak our language. Yes. In that context, I think uh, you've digressed a little. I'd like to know what's the importance or what is your end game in intermarrying or bringing together the Luo cultures? Like now we have the uh, uh, Adung. Adung. We have a Rotu. And the Rotu and the Nyatiti together. And the Nyatiti together. Yes. So I, I was interested in the Luo immigration. Okay. Now, we, are, we moved from what I'm told, we moved from the Middle East and we went through Egypt, and then we went through Sudan, and then we came to the River Nile, and uh, Padola, Dola, Lur, uh, Pakwach, Jonam, uh, they were all Lures. But then, some of them, when they were traveling, they met other tribes on the way, they got, they got married there, they stopped at that point, and in the process, there was a change in the language transition. So they no longer speak they speak the same language, but the dialects are different. Yes. So they, you can be speaking and hearing similar things. So the end game here is to remember that we came, we have the same origin, and to unify our people through music, through exchange of culture, and to, to expand our territories and our talents and share our talents with other, 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 other whatever you may call the subsection of the Lewis. As as we do that, what uh, what will this bring? Because so, bring for, one, for someone, yes. uh, just to bring a perspective, for someone who is born today, yes, uh, a, a child, wow, oh, nothing global. Culture. Nothing. <laughs> you <laughs> you supported that statement to me that your strings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, as as a, as a promoter yes. of culture. Mm. Why specifically did you choose to do it more through music? Because, uh, have you watched people when they are seated somewhere? Seated, and then you introduce music. Do you know the body starts responding without even you telling them? And you will find them knocking their heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without you telling. That is the most powerful way of communicating. 
to people. Even when, when you see, like when I come back to Kenya once in a while, I find things have changed because uh, of hang lies now out there. So you find even a small kid in the street. You see, they don't even understand the wording, but the beats. Yes. So that is a very powerful tool in communicating music. And it is even believed that in the ancient, ancient construction of huge, like, we cannot reproduce pyramids, okay? Yes. But they believe that there were some sounds that would lift stones, mm -hmm. and it was embedded in the music, okay? So that's why I chose music, mm -hmm. because everybody <laughs> responds to music. Responds to music. So that is why I chose music, a very powerful tool. <laughs> what next? What is your next step? My next step yes. is to continue and liaise with the media so that you cannot do it in isolation. Mm. If you want to promote it, you have to do it through the media houses, you have to do it through the events, and then you have to, pay, to explain the importance of us staying as Luos as Kenyans, as Africans, because that's what makes us stronger. If we are split in terms of our culture, then we will be a defeated group of people. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your cutting shot as we finish. Hey, the Luos, we are out there. Don't tra tra traumatize us with different things outside your, our culture. Like not teaching your children to speak our language and telling them that our food is not a good, good enough. We should be rooted in our culture because that is who be, what defines who we are. If you are outside there, if you have any comment, we can have a discussion. My phone number. Zero seven one five seven nine six nine four four. I'll say it again. Kenyan number zero seven one five seven nine six nine four four. Do not call me, text me. Thank you so much for your time and for the opportunity to be with you today. And thank you very much for capturing this event and taking your time. I'm really humbled here that you could take your time and come and cover this event. Thank you.